10,000 subscribers. Wow. I never thought I'd see that number when I first started this channel. But here we are. What were you all thinking? <laughs> In all seriousness, I'm extremely thankful for everyone that's decided to stick around for my content and show some support. The comments that most of you leave is at times breathtaking. But really, I think... <laughs> You're breathtaking! You're all breathtaking! So, to celebrate, I couldn't really think of anything other than something like a Q&A and a small giveaway. Which is weird because when it comes to creating projects and videos, I'm rather creative. Pretty much everything I wrote besides my Onifile series is just my imagination. Anyway, I'm going to announce the giveaway at the end of the video, so stick around if you want to know how to include yourself for a chance to win. So, I'm going to start with my first question from Shadow, uh, which is, will you be doing any other what-ifs on any other video game universes? Um, yes, most likely. Um, in fact, I've been in the talks with another YouTuber, um, relatively the same size as me, uh, but he makes uh, Dead Space videos uh, based around their lore and all that other good stuff which I know virtually nothing about, so I have no idea what it's going to go down. But it's something that could be cool. I could learn some, I could learn some stuff. And um, yeah, yeah, uh, Dead Space would be cool. Um, I also want to maybe expand my horizons a little bit. Maybe something like, I don't know, Fallout. I really enjoy Fallout. That could be cool, as well as, oh, I don't know, Mass Effect maybe? I don't know, we'll, we'll see. But yeah, Dead Space is, uh, is on that list. The next question comes from Nexus Saber, asking, are you going to a let play with your views, and if so, what first? Okay, um, I'm gonna go and try and guess what that means. <laughs> I, I'm gonna assume you mean, are you gonna do a let's play with your viewers? Um, maybe? I don't know. Let's play with my viewers. I, I assume if you mean like in the Discord chat, then yeah, absolutely. Um, I, w I have actually been planning on doing that for a while, uh, but I am currently in the process of moving a moving house, so it's a little bit difficult right now. Um, but it's I'm, I'm definitely going to do it, definitely. I think it'd be fun to mess around, play some custom games on MCC or... Even just big team battle on Halo Infinite, that could be fun. The next question comes from Dynamite X246. What do you think of Halo Legends? And you have any interest to any what ifs for it? Um, I really like Halo Legends. Um, there's a lot of ones that I do like actually. Uh, Headhunter is probably my favorite just because Headhunters are extremely cool, and they include the Silent Shadow, which is even cooler. Um, I can't really think of any what ifs for any of them, but I could probably, I could probably conjure some up. No idea what exactly, but I'll tell you what, if any of you have any ideas for what if legends, then put it in the comments, and uh, we'll see. The next question comes from WW Carry. If you were to make a Halo spin-off game, what would it be? Um, that's a good question. I'm not entirely... There's a lot, to be fair. Um, there's a lot of choices that I have. I've always wanted to have, like, a, a Flood horror game, which is why I've, like, written Flood creepypastas, I guess. Um, Halo 3 ODST 2? <laughs> I don't know. Halo, another Halo ODST would be cool. Uh, which is kind of doable, in a way, because if Buck and Alpha 9 are still alive, and there was on the Infinite at the time, they could have technically escaped and landed on Halo Z, well, Zeta Halo, and they could, I don't know, they could, they could be doing missions six months before Chief's found, trying to figure stuff out or something. It could be cool. It could be another ODST game. Um, so yeah, another ODST game, uh, some kind of flood horror game, and also, I definitely want a Headhunters game. 
That would be so cool. I fuck, I love headhunters. Headhunters are like the coolest Spartans in existence. Besides Jerome. Jerome is very cool. Um, yeah, I hope that answers your question. Spartan G156 Rex says, What is your favourite Halo game? Oh, that's so easy to answer. It's Halo 2. Without a doubt. Halo 2 is... Oh, it's perfect. Everything about Halo 2 is good. The introduction of the Arbiter, the introduction of the SMG, the battle rifle, all that good stuff, that all came with Halo 2. Um, and then the environments, being able to go to Earth, uh, being able to go to another Halo. Oh, I just, I loved every bit of Halo 2. Everything was great. And then destroying that Scarab as well. That, that was probably one of the, the coolest parts of Halo 2. So yeah, definitely, definitely Halo 2. The next question comes from Lit04. What do you want to see for the first Halo Infinite DLC? Um, that's a good question. Um, I definitely want to see some, uh, like, weapon sandbox adjustments, vehicle adjustments too. Like, uh, I've made them two little short videos so far, and they've basically been uh, what I think could be integrated into Halo Infinite. I'd definitely love to see some stuff from Halo Wars 2. Um, but the, again, these are all like minor little DLC slash updates. They're not really a big DLC or anything. What I'd love to see is for Free for Free to do some kind of DLC that would be an expansion to the actual area. Um, so stuff like Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas, them types of games, when they created a DLC, they added uh, extra areas that you could go explore that had side quests as well as the main quest to that. I'd love something like that for Halo Infinite because it'd give you more places to explore, of course, but it, it just entices you to explore the world and use what could be different weapons implemented into that DLC. I think something like Halo Wars 2 uh, somehow being involved with Halo Infinite. So, for example, uh, the Spirit of Fire and its crew somehow making it to the Zeta Halo could be kind of cool. Um... I'd, mainly just because I love like all the characters aboard, <laughs> I especially Red Team. Uh, I love Jerome. Um, yeah, I th I, something like that would be cool, where you could go to a new area, and then perhaps like you come across Red Team that's come through this portal, and there's this moment where like Master Chief it has his his gun up ready, pointing at the portal, waiting for something to come through, and then Jerome just pops through, pointing from the other side or something. That would be a cool scene. I'd love to see that, yeah. Something like that would be a cool DLC, I guess. The next question comes from communism.exe, which is, who inspired you to make YouTube vids? Um, a, a lot, a lot of people actually. Um, I, I'd, I'd guess I would probably say uh, some big Halo YouTubers for a start. Um, Halo Installation. Halo Installation? Sorry, Installation 00. He, um, I saw his channel grow from when I first saw him do a collaboration with Eckhart's Ladder to what he is now. And that inspired me. Like, from nothing to something like that was, that was impressive to me. Really was. Um, and even though his content half of the time goes right over my head, it's, it just inspired me alone to try, because if he can do it, why can't I? I love Halo, why can't I do it? So I did it, and now I'm at 10,000 subscribers. <laughs> um, yeah, I suppose a couple of others, uh, Fletch from Ultimate Halo, just because he's from Yorkshire, and our accent is notoriously hard to understand at times, because we say certain words differently. It's hard to explain because I speak really clearly, when I'm recording, but it, yeah, yeah, it, it, it makes sense when you talk to me in person, I guess. Um, I'd probably say Late Night Gaming too. Uh, I really actually just love his voice. I don't know why, um, but his voice and his videos are just entertaining. I, I love them. Um, and then I, I don't know, maybe some bigger YouTubes. I used to watch PewDiePie back in like 2010 when he was first becoming big and as a kid, that kind of blew my mind, the things he did. So maybe PewDiePie? I don't know. There's a lot. It's hard to answer that. Okay, next is from... 
Uh, that person. Yep. Um, how are you? How are you doing, Reclaimer? I'm doing pretty good, man. I hope you're doing well too. How do you feel towards the community built around you? Just because, ah, uh, just being passionate about what if scenarios and Halo lore from your own eyes. Um, uh, I'm not entirely sure how to answer that question, but um, I think it's cool the fact that there's other Halo fans out there that are just as passionate as me when it comes to exploring the Halo universe to a point where you want to ask a million questions like what if this happened what if that happened and so many people so many Halo fans have all got a lot of the same questions especially the big one being what if Noble 6 survived and that idea alone has always sort of poked my brain I've always wanted to know what would happen and I wrote it and other people liked it and they was like oh my god this is great and well, what if this happened? What if this happened? And I just think I'm, I'm just really happy I found other people that are just as interested in, in Halo and its lore as me. If it wasn't for somebody in the Discord server called Deirdrick, I wouldn't have written What If Noble Six Hunted the Master Chief? Because that isn't actually my idea, that came from him. Um, he wrote the comment on What If Noble Six Survived and I think it was what if Noble Six survived. I'll I'll try find the comment and I'll put it in the video. Um, but yeah, he he commented that, and I asked if I could use it as an idea for a video, and I created it. And if if it weren't for him, I don't think I'd have been. I don't think I'd be where I am now. He helped me uh, blow up my channel and gain all that traction. So I have nothing but a praise and thanks for that guy. Seriously. The next question is from neo luna 22 What got you into making your awesome what if vids? And will you be doing one where both Chief and Arbiter make it through the portal back to Earth in Halo 3? Or something related to the Arbiter on Sanghelios? Um... So what got me into making more videos? I... For a long time I have been a Halo fan. I have been playing Halo since the first game came out. I was probably about four years old. And like I said, I have always wondered what else could happen in the Halo universe because it's such an expansive universe. There's so much information, there's so much lore, there's so much things going on. And me and my friend, uh, back when like Halo Reach came out, we'd always ask this question like, oh, what if Noble Six survived? What do you think would happen? And all these other questions. What if Johnson survived? What if... Uh, friggin, I don't know, Tartarus, clobbered chief. You know, th there's a million questions. We'd, we'd always ask each other. It'd be like three o'clock in the morning. We'd just be talking crap about Halo non-stop because we just love Halo. And I don't know, one day it just kind of came back to me. Like, why don't I just make videos about it? Because maybe out there there's other Halo fans that, that want to discuss with me. So I did. Um... And your other question was ah right yes um yeah i've i've kind of wanted to do that um i think it would be cool to have master chief reach it through the other side it'd be so different wouldn't it uh like the events of halo 4 because for the didact to actually be released they would still need a human to release him they need a reclaimer um so if Chief wasn't there, but uh, Julem Dharma's Covenant still found Requiem and the Didact's um, sphere thingy. I can't remember the name right now because I've gone blank. Uh, but if he found it and there was no humans around, perhaps he wouldn't be able to open it. So he would literally need to go hunt down a human. And it could have been any human. He could have just gone to a planet and kidnapped somebody. It, it doesn't matter. He could have done that. And then he could have opened it, and then the Didact could have just shown up to Earth at one day while Chief might be out doing a mission and just ob obliterate Earth. So it's kind of crazy to think about. Which is, if that didn't happen, the Earth might have been destroyed, I guess. Uh, I hope that answers your question. Oh, and yes, I, I might do a what if about it, that would be cool. Ah, speaking of Deirdrick, he has left us a question. <laughs> 
Uh, Deirdrick says, any chance for a part five or a continuation of the Chief and Noble Six alternate timeline? Yes, there is no doubt about it. I am absolutely going to be doing that. Both uh, What If Noble Six Survived and If Noble Six Hunted Master Chief, they are both <coughs> getting more parts to the story. I don't know when. Um, it takes a lot of time to write, and I really want to do it right. I don't want to mess it up because of just how in depth I've gone with the story. I don't want to mess any lore up. I, I want to make sure it's right. Um, and now that Halo Infinite's out, a lot of other lore has been sort of released to us, so we can kind of put some stuff together without worrying about the consequences of the future, if that makes sense. But yeah, we are definitely making more parts to both. And there will be a finale. I don't know when, but at some point. Absolutely, yes. Thank you, Deirdre. Uh Oh, another question from communism.exe. Um, what setup you use to record vids and edit them? Um, I'm going to assume that means do you use? <laughs> yes. Uh, so I use a Blue Yeti microphone to record, which I'm using right now, as well as Audacity to just mess around with the audio and make sure it sounds good. Um, yeah, and then for the videos, I just use Adobe Premiere. Um, I used to use <laughs> I used to use some uh, some editing software that is more used for like GoPros and stuff uh, called Filmora 10, and that was a fucking nightmare, but. I have evolved since, and I'm now using Adobe Premiere Pro. So yeah. The British Runner, which is the guy I'm going to be collabing with, by the way, for the Dead Space Wife. Um, who inspired you to make a YouTube channel, and um, what made you choose Halo to be on main content? Um, I think I've, I've, I've more or less answered that question, but um, I've loved Halo for a very long time. It's, it's fair to say that the events that happen in the Halo games influenced the way I became in life and kind of made me the person I am today and it sounds kind of cliche and cheesy but I learned a lot from the story itself it, it's like a an influential event on my life throughout all the games so I just love Halo <laughs> and again the people that inspired me are mainly Halo content creators like I said um, and maybe some bigger ones as well, like PewDiePie, stuff like that. Yeah. Passive Witness asks, What is your favourite book outside of Halo? Um, I'm going to be honest with you, Passive Witness. I'm super lazy and I do not read that many books, so I don't have one. <laughs> the only reason I even listen, well, listen to Halo books is because they're on Audible and I'm too lazy to read, so I go to Audible. I haven't listened to any other books um, that isn't Halo. Everything I've listened to is just Halo, um, which just proves how much of a nerd I am for this for this franchise. Um, also, which of your videos are you are you most proud of? Um, definitely the What If Noble Six Hunted Master Chief. And again, thank you, Deirdre, for that idea. Our next question comes from Shadow once again. If you could meet any of Halo's voice actors, who would you want to meet the most, assuming you haven't met them already? Oh, well, Steve Downs is absolutely at the top of my list. For, well, it's Steve Downs. <laughs> who doesn't want to meet Steve Downs? As well as Keith David, because Keith David is just amazing. I love his voice so much. Uh, he's in quite a lot of things. Um, I think the latest thing I've probably seen him in is something like Rick and Morty. Oh, and uh, Nathan Fillion. Nathan Fillion, absolutely. He's also at the top of my list. I'd love to meet him as one day as well. If you were a Halo character, who do you think you would most likely be? Ah, uh, probably... I don't know, that's, that's a weird question. <laughs> probably just, like, a dead civilian, because I would be useless if the Covenant came down, probably. As much as I'd like to think of myself as somebody like Jerome, I do not think I am that person. Maybe maybe the rookie, because I'm pretty quiet in real life. <laughs> so yeah, maybe that. Have you ever considered releasing a blooper reel of your What If videos? Yes, because there is a lot of them, and I have to take lots and lots of time to edit videos. 
this is going to be very lightly edited because there's there's no script it's just me rambling on um there'd be a lot of funny moments a lot of embarrassing ones too so maybe at some point uh another question from communism.exe which was the first game you ever played i mean not in the halo franchise in general wow um i don't think anybody's gonna get it i don't think anybody's gonna recognize this but um my first ever video game was when I was two years old, which is unbelievable to think of, but it's not like I had amazing dexterity or anything. I just picked up the pad and fiddled with it. Um, it was on the PS1, and it was called 40 Winks. It was a platformer-type game, uh, and it was frigging cool, man. I, I've still got the discs somewhere. Um, I'll try and edit the... Um, edit some of the recording in so that you can see the actual game because I, I, I still to this day love this game. It is a cool game. It was creepy. It it was fun. You had to collect things. You had to fight things. It was a cool game, man. It had zombies in it. That was the best part. And the final question again from communism is if the Halo franchise comes to an end, will you move on or not? If you are, which game? Um... Well, I don't know if the Halo franchise would come to an end, at least not for a very long time, just because of how massive it is. It's kind of like Nintendo saying that they're going to stop making Mario games. It's just kind of unrealistic, but I do understand. I mean, you know, it, it, there's always a chance. There's always a chance it could stop. Um, I don't know. I'd, there's a lot of other video games I really like. Um, I'm a massive fan of the Fallout series. Um, I used to play a lot of COD when they were good. Uh, Borderlands is pretty fun. I play that with my girlfriend sometimes. I used to. Um, I play quite a lot of games, so if I really wanted to, I could move on, but I don't think I would. Like, no. No, I don't think I would. Maybe expand to something like Fallout, but I don't think I could leave Halo behind. Anyway, all uh, thanks for all your questions. There's been a few. All right, um, the giveaway, giveaway, the giveaway, the giveaway. Okay, so I have a one-month free subscription of Game Pass, Game Pass Ultimate to be precise. Um, so the way it's going to work is, if you have subscribed, make sure to leave a like and comment anything, whatever it is, don't matter. As long as you comment some, something, I will find your name because I will put them all into a bucket and I'll draw out the name and then whichever name it is gets the free Game Pass trial. If you are the winner, I will contact you whether that be through the comments or if you've left an email address or in the Discord and from there I will then send you the code. And yeah, that's how that all works basically. Alright, uh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go edit this thing. Thank you all for 10,000 subscribers. What an insane number. Never did I ever think I were gonna hit that number, but here we are, I guess. You know what? I'm gonna make a promise. If we hit 100,000 subscribers, I will get a tattoo of the Reclaimer symbol. I am not kidding. I promise you all I'll do that. And you can record this and quote me when we hit 100k. I promise you I will do that. That is a guarantee, so... Subscribe. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.